Hello, and welcome back to Tyranny. Consider Let's it start by giving you this buff. And let's on the lookout. Let's be a little bit sneaky. I'd like you to go for the big one. Come on. Are you? Nope, nope. Not nope, nope, but I don't know if it worked. Okay, we can start with this one as well. Right. I'm already hurt. Sorry, I can't. To this. Her. Okay, I think now we can <laughs> keep on hitting them. Really though, why won't you use this? Why is Lantry dying? I have no idea what's going on. Oh, he's frightened. No. Okay. By your nothing. Really? Oh, that could be good. What happened? Chromatic arrow did that much? Or did something just explode? Kill her. Do so quickly. I got it. They just they all just died so not that it matters now. Dauntless master work. Of course, it's gonna be the thing that we are not using. As your hand touches the hilt of the sword, a rush of sensation courses up your arms as if you had dunked them in warm water. The feeling is at once calming and overwhelming and leaves you breathless. Mm, sin of big mysticals, bitter and biting of this mistake. Tastes of magic and blood, mixed skills and shadow here and that grave prey, to fight with sword god Dauntless. Well, fuck me with Gyros Skok. That's Dauntless you're holding, famed blade of the Regent of Sword. There's a lot of history behind that sword, although most everyone who cared about that history is probably dead. But focus on the positive was a charming new toy you found. As you grow accustomed to the sword's weight, your thoughts are drowned out by a perpetual buzz of voices, fragments of inspiring speeches, glorious battle cries, and the anticipation of triumph to come. The feeling subsides as quickly as it struck, 
uh, dauntless pulses in your hand, its potential desperate for release. Your, pers your perspective is divided between holding a sword and holding a living symbol. The distinction at times grows hazy. Great. Uh, maybe I should go back. Yes. I really want to go back to the spire for now. Through the billowing dirt and rust kicked up by the edict of storms, you make out the shifting silhouettes of a small group ahead of you. Appearing lightly armed and armored, the group pulls two cards in their wake. They haven't noticed you through the maelstrom. They continue past without noticing you and fade into the wailing winds. Why, why bother them? You are a trainer. I would like to train, I don't remember what we do here. Ah, right. Maybe... dodge? Okay. And athletics? So, uh, I don't quite remember how do we change the team composition. Because when it comes to Ebb... I'm working on my impression of you, trying to capture your silent interrogation routine. How am I doing? It's more implied violence. She folds her arms and leans in toward you. She flexes her upper body, sneering her lip as she does. The sun told her a small clown vision and the yeah, Who am I kidding? I couldn't scare my daughter into bed when I was five times her height. What is it you need? Ask away. No, I don't remember how do you leave. First, you're in barrack. There you are. My Lord Binder, you have something which requires my attention? What can I do for you? See it up. If you would have me travel at your side, then I am not opposed to seeing more of this degenerate realm. Onward. Oh, just like that. Uh, Lantry is really good healer, so... I'll tack homeward. See you there. Yes. And he leveled up to match our level, which I am grateful. Um, let's see. Let's give you this. The damage all enemies and by this damage increases for each enemy engaging Barry. Oh, that would be great. But let's give you Clash of Iron. And if I remember correctly, I can give you weapon. I cannot give you anything but weapon. So, what would you say if I give you this? Uh. Yeah, don't lose his one hand. It's worse than what he has. Really? How about this? Yeah, it's two hand. Slightly better DPS. Bigger range. Makes sense. That's javelin. That's full set. Whatever that is. Annihilation. Critical damage multiplier. Great. Let's give you that. Looks great on you. Mm -hmm. Now... Uh, we cannot respect her here. I mean, kills and shadow. Um, I don't remember which one it was. 
So let's take all of them. It's only 15 minutes travel from one spire to another. No. Let's train you in matter of two hundred weapons. Fight defensively, gaining a bonus to armor. Let's make you master tank. No, she can be trained in unarmed combat, so there's that. Um, Tanara, maybe? No, parry dodging. Also, I keep forgetting to uh, uh, upgrade the spires, so we'll may do deal with that. Also, I found this in the depths of the old walls. <laughs> Another incredible find, faint binder. Yes, yes, these glyphs, and here, the grain of the sheep. This matches closely with the other documents we found in the old walls. Whether that means it was left by those who created the old walls or by those who came later to study them, I would hesitate to conjecture. Okay, that's interesting, but can you tell me what it means? No one can simply decipher text found in the old walls. At best, a few learned scribes can interpret the writings left in those depths to uncover lost aspects of sigils. Even that requires time and effort. This is particularly unusual specimen. These repeated glyphs may be some manner of mathematical notation, expressing the relationships between specific values. Think of a fraction of a whole, for instance. Yet they seem simply listed rather than part of any equation, at regular intervals as well. Fascinating. Please continue. It is fascinating! I'm gladdened by your appreciation! Well, there remains every possibility that this is some manner of ritual or mathematical proof. Perhaps something even more mundane, such as a record of uncounting of... or recipe. What the document most reminds me of is the notation utilized to record music. If anyone could shed light on this, I imagine it would be the Archon of Song. If my inkling is correct and it's some sort of music, her special gift might provide insight. Why you, I would avail myself of her expertise. Searing? I couldn't help but notice you speaking to Sage Garrus at your library. What were the two of you discussing? He thinks this may be written music. What do you think? I think I'll be happy to give these a reading. No promises, of course. She pours over the pages with a critical eye. At times, pausing to raise her hand to her lips and ponder. Finally, Siri knows with a sense of understanding and clears her throat to speak up. I think your researcher was right. This definitely describes music. No wonder it felt so familiar to me. It'll take a little while to fully understand. The relationship between tones are universal, but tempo and volume vary. Just because the notation looks intuitive doesn't mean it is. If I'm right about what's on this page, though, it's related to that humming stone Cairn left for me. Not that I have any idea what that could mean. Maybe Cairn was much older than anybody thought. Literally older than the mountains? I doubt it. Why would someone that old let Kairos control him? Whatever the truth, interpreting this may help me better understand my abilities. She fails to hide a mischievous grin. I look forward to finding out what you uncover. When I figure this song out, you'll be the first to hear. She strides away, focused on the parchment. You know, it was you. I don't remember. 
remember who. No. I'm for sure we can respect. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, thank you. Um, but I don't remember who can give us that ability. What possibility? Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> now that we don't have her. Wait, what? Only Siren can equip it. Thank you very much. I won't be using it then. Right. The number. I have you if and I eat another sword? Really? I think I should sell everything I can. Do we have other red mouse pool trees? Mm -mm -mm -mm. This process is not gonna be used. You can sell this. Sure. I don't remember if we can use stones for anything. First, not really. Okay, let's check the spires because uh, maybe it will shed some light. Merchant with a monthly collection of items for sale. Oh, sure. Oh. <laughs> I saw teacher un uh, teaches unarmed attacks. Uh -huh. Many unique items for sale. Hmm. Oh, this one. Food, not really. Um, let's take you. And I thought they would be all here already, but maybe not. Headaches, yeah, there's still a, there are still five left. Not, uh, ah, not like we are going. We are going to get rid of all of them. Mm. A master trainer who teaches control of grief, light and control of illusions. Yeah, great. <laughs> not really anything that we will need. Uh, one hand weapons up to fish parry. Heights to upgrade armor. Well, could use that. Bows, sure. And arm um, attacks, yes. I know we are um, pretty much getting the same trainers' places, but. Two-handed weapons, bows. I think that's it. Okay, let's pay a visit to the other one then. I think why they cannot be. I think it was Ocean Spire. Um, yeah, why can't they be marked the same way on the map as they are in the menu? Scarfest, you are new one. Um, 
but that's for you. And bows for me. Yes, we leveled plenty. <laughs> We might as well train all the way. Why not? We'll survive. We'll thrive. We'll never let tribe die. Okay. For lunch, we should get throwing weapons. Yeah, unfortunately we cannot train anymore. Now we could give you that. But for now let's go back to the other spire so we can respect uh, kills in shadow. We could have rest instead, but no, that would waste too much time. Let me see... Mountain Spire, Vengeance, Vendri well, oh, we are not at the one, right? Yes, we are at the Sunset Spire. Um, sorry, that's my mistake, they are here. Who am I looking for? Fate Binder. Before you stands a wise and man in the courtly garb of Fate Binder. He seems to be lost in a thoughtful examination, his gaze scrutinizing the details of the spire. He shifts his attention to you after a moment, offering him one smile. Fate Binder, Evna. A pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. His bow strikes you as a perfunctory at best. I am Fatebinder Casper. I understand that you reached out to, to the court for a trainer. I have been provided. I have also brought a wine. He lifts a clay flagon in salute. What kind of training do you provide? I think of what I do as teaching an old hand new tricks. I break pupils of the unwanted habits they've picked up so that they may form new ones. Break being the operative word. He smirks and takes a swig of wine. Unlearning can be a far more difficult than learning. Okay. Uh, excellent. Will I be working with you personally or would you prefer I to be a member of your entourage? Time to see if you're as good as you say. I'll be sending you kills and shadow. The beast woman, oh, grand. I'll be needing a fresh flagon first. Okay, I really hope it's it will be in this one. Okay, I want to confirm her st oh. Yeah, 
we can give her all into unarmed combat, basically. Because she's not using any other weapons. If I have to. I don't know what this means. I've checked. Unlocking skill growth will allow this character to gain experience. Don't from gaining experience in this skill through normal gameplay interactions. Okay. So I can lock the oh so I can actually lock those. Interesting. Yes, it helped. Great. I was afraid it will be all for naught. Increases attack distance. Okay. <laughs> now that is done. Uh, so actually I don't need unarmed combat, dual wielding, and two-handed this. I don't need magic staffs and one-handed weapons. Uh, I think rest is rather okay. Um... Yes. And as for me, I would like to darken the sky. Darken an enemy, then launch multiple projectiles into the air. Each one strikes a random enemy within the selected area, rooting them. Sure. And headshot, I think. Graces and misses with uh, ranged attacks bounce to enemies behind their target. It does that does not happen often. I mean, I am usually attacking those that are behind instead. No, oh, or do this and headshot and barrack. You don't need bows, dual wielding, maybe, you don't need magic staffs, you don't need unarmed combat. Uh, rest we can leave you with. Let's give you this, and you only had one thought. Okay, I think now we are ready to continue the journey. But this is where I'm gonna end this part, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you at the sentient, sentient stand. So, bye!